happy sunday everyone what is going on man eight real homies in the building man as you can see from the screen the passcode to success on the points blank network is two four seven three six five we made some changes since the last time i was live no more music before i go live we just gonna jump straight into it and have a good time and do a whole lot of learning and without any further ado, I just had to turn on one last light to make sure the lighting was right. What is going on, everyone? What is going on? Welcome to Points Blank Travel. I am your boy, Rod. And on this channel, we talk about credit. We talk about credit cards. We talk about points, miles, cashback, personal finance, and how to travel around the world or around the country for little or no money out of your pocket. If that's something you're interested in, do your boy a favor. Go ahead right now. Hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. Also, hit that bell notification right next to subscribe. It's going to default to personalize. Make sure you select all so you don't miss out on future videos or live streams. And I can tell you, I have a lot of content that I'm about to unload. Just got back to Dallas last night from Phoenix, which I did quite a bit of recording out there. Also, do me a favor. Hit that thumbs up button. Hit that like button, baby. It helped the video get pushed out to more people and also help with uh, the algorithm. I'm more worried about it getting pushed out because there's some people out there that can learn from information like this. Share the channel out, man. Share with somebody that can learn from this. And with all that being said, you know what time it is. Let's roll, baby. I can tell you I'm rejuvenated. I am hyped. Your boy is ready to get down to business. Let me give a couple shout outs real quick. I'm not going to be reading any comments. Just want to see who's in the house. We got 13 real homies in the crib. Thank you all 13 of you for being here. What's going on, Devin? What's going on, YouTube Experiment? Mojo, Wendy Melendez, how you doing? YouTube Experiment, Mufasa is back in the building. Why loves to motivate? And I think that is it. Man, so as you can see from the thumbnail, I have a huge question for myself and it may be a huge question that you need to ask yourself. Is it time for me to cancel some credit cards? Again, I'm going to jump right into the topic. You know, when I first started this points and miles journey, I'll be honest with y'all. I was just happy that I got approved for a credit card. The first one, the Capital One, uh, that's kind of almost a gimme. But then I got the American Airlines card with like a twelve dollars or $15,000 credit limit. Didn't understand points and miles. And I was like, yo. I got to do some research on this, man. How do these miles work? And then I kept researching and watching YouTubers, reading articles, reading articles, watching YouTubers. And after probably watching over a thousand videos and reading who knows how many articles, I thought I had it down. And I started applying for this card, American Express, Express credit cards, City credit cards, Chase credit cards. Bank of America credit cards. And yes, while I had the surface of points and miles down, I can't, now that I look back on it, I can't say that I had the best strategy. And man, if they gave it to me, your boy was taking it. If they say, hey, Rod, you can get this card. And my dream, my dream was to get an American Express card. The first one I got had no in your feet. It was the... uh Blue uh, cash card, had no annual fee. Waited a couple months, got the blue cash preferred card with a $95 annual fee. And I wasn't tripping, $95, that's not anything. And at the time, your boy was raking in the money, so I really didn't care. But then I started watching more videos, and then I wanted the gold card. But before that, I got the everyday preferred card, which got me into the American Express membership reward points ecosystem. And then I said, man, I really want the gold card. Well, I got the gold card. And man, I was like, yo, I'm just getting cards left and right. So I said, you know what I really want? That platinum card. Got approved. Then I moved over to American Airlines and I got the business American Airlines, $99 annual fee. I already had the Air American Airlines, the uh, World Elite Platinum MasterCard. $95 annual fee. Then I said, well, I want the executive card. That's the big dog. Black made of metal. I get Atmos Club membership, meaning I can go into the Atmos Club. 
eat for free prior to a flight, drink for free prior to a flight. Your boy was rolling, man. Was rolling. Then the annual fill in this car was $450. When I got the platinum car, the annual fill in it was $550. Now, as you can see, and I used to ask people in my live streams, please do not ever tell me. You can calculate it for yourself, but don't ever tell me because I did my I did a video, I mean a live stream a long time ago of all of my credit cards that were in my arsenal. And I said the annual fees and people were like, oh man, those are your fees. That's a lot of annual fees. No, dog, we ain't tripping. So what I'm going to do today is I got one, two, three, four cards that I'm going to go over in my arsenal. There's more than that, but I'm going to go over these four. And I'm not going to make a decision tonight, but I want to get your opinion. And one of them I've almost, almost, almost made a decision on, but it's going to be kind of hard to part ways with that card. So notice I said the American Express Platinum had a, $550 annual fee. It may have been $595. One says $550. So I said, wait a minute, man. And now that I'm, I'm more strategic with my credit cards, I'm like, yo, man, is this card really worth what I'm paying every year? Because I've since gone YouTube full time. I'm a full time content creator and I'm not making the money I was making prior to becoming a full time YouTuber. So money matters more now. So again, you may be one of the people out there that's carrying credit cards in your wallet and you're not maximizing the benefit, yet you continue to pay a hefty annual fee. Hefty to some people it could be $95, it could be $150, it could be $200. But I will say, if you have a, annual, a card that has no annual fee, there's no reason in getting rid of it. Just try to use it once every three months, six months, so they don't close it, just in case you have longevity on the card, meaning... You don't want to mess with your average age of account. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen here. And I really need y'all to just give me your two cents. Give me your 10 cents. Give me your five cents. Whatever the case may be. Hey, what's up, Caesar? Uh, what's up, Warm, uh, Warm Strong Adventures? Chevy W. Hey, uh, Warm Strong, we do have an a interview going on on my other channel, The Points Bank Experience, on April 2nd, 735 p.m. East, uh, Central Standard Time, 8.35 Eastern Standard Time. Who uh, Am I missing anybody else? John, what's going on? John, glad to have you in here. If this is your first time here, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification. If this you've been here before or if this is your first time here, definitely hit that like button. We got the Destroyers coming in. We got Caesar Joe L. So I'm going to go ahead and share my screen here, man. And I want to just go ahead and, and, and go over these in a in a in a in a hasty pace. I don't want to spend too much time on this because I want to make sure I keep your attention. Let me go look at something here because I think it said my uh, it's refreshing. My session had expired because I, I call myself being ahead of the game and loading these up prior to starting the live stream. So okay, now we got it back there. Let's go ahead share my screen here. All right. So here's the platinum card. Now, I like this. I like how they do this. And I'm going to point out a couple of things, man. And in case y'all don't know, I don't drop gems or nuggets. I drop boulders, baby. And not only is this going to be, uh, should I cancel some of my credit card or is it time to cancel some of my credit cards? I'm also going to give you some hints and some knowledge. And this doesn't apply to everyone. The Caesar Joels of the world that has Buku credit cards like I do. And maybe the Warm Strong Adventures or the Wild Little Motivates or the Devons. This may not apply to you. It may not apply to anybody, but just in case, we're going to do it anyway. So notice what's up real bold. Five times the membership reward points on up to $500,000 per calendar year on flights booked directly with airlines or through American Express Travel. Not bad. But I also have an American Airlines credit card that I pay a $99 annual fee. And... If I was to fly Delta, I typically use my membership reward points. If I was to fly Southwest or United, yeah, this may come in handy, but I've yet to use it. I've had this card at least three or four years. Five times. Let me show y'all where I am so I don't lose nobody. I'm right here. Five times membership reward points on eligible prepaid hotels booked at amextravel.com, including the hotel collection. 
I have the Marriott card, the Hyatt card, and the Hilton card. Most of the time when I book those hotels, I use the credit cards because I get some enormous amount of points for using those cards just for booking the room. So I've yet to use this benefit, this, this bonus category. The only thing I've ever used is one times the point for every dollar spent on all other purchases. One point. I got to spend $100 on groceries. I'm going to get 100 points, but I can use my American Express Gold card, spend the same $100, and get 400 MX membership reward points. Now, here's what I want to point out. Notice how big this is, but let's go right here. Let me click off there. Let's go right here in this itty bitty writing right here. Notice what I just highlighted annual fee. Remember, I said it was $550. When I got the car, it went up to $695. Well, in the first section of this live stream, in the first section of this presentation, I'm only using one out of the three multipliers. Hmm, right? Does this make any sense? Let's keep going. Now, this doesn't apply to me, but if you're a new applicant, you can earn 80,000 membership reward points after spending 8,000. 8, I think I spent... 5,000, I got 60,000 points. I spent $5,000 in three months. So it was kind of tough. They're giving you six months to spend eight grand and get 80,000 points. I'm glad I don't have to worry about that. Now, here's where they try to get you. Notice real big, you could get over it, and then they got a whole different color, $1,500 in value. Let me kill this here. $200 hotel credit. You can get up to $200 back in statement credit. Oh, I'm trying to do that. They won't let me go. I'm over to the left. Get up to $200 back in statement credits each year on prepaid fine hotels, resorts, or the hotel collection bookings. I've never stayed at the five. I've never used the fine hotels and resorts. I just go to hotels and I'm elite status in Marriott, Bum, uh, Marriott Bonvoy. Hilton Honors and World of Hyde. So I may get an upgrade. I don't need to go to, I mean, I may one day, but I haven't yet in three or four years. $200 airline fee credit. Well, if I've never booked through American Express, I probably don't qualify for the $200 airline fee credit. So like, oh, actually I have. Yeah, I, actually I have. Man, I, I don't forgot to do this. I need to go back. I may need to change. Uh, I have used this a couple of times. You select one qualified airline and they receive up to $200 in statement credits per year when incidental fees are charged by the airline to your car. Oh, nope, I ain't use this. The card has to be involved. Well, I don't use a, the platinum card to book no flights. Now, I got excited today because they didn't have this when I first got the card. $155, and I'm right here. Walmart plus credit. I said, oh, really? We start using Walmart or some Walmart plus members enjoy shopping perks. I got to be a member of Walmart plus. I'm not a Walmart plus member. I barely go to Walmart. I, I don't even go to Target. I go to Clover. That's it. And, and, and if I happen to be near Walmart and need something, I may go in there. $248 digital entertainment credit. I don't even know what the hell this is. I ain't, so, so far, I have used none of this stuff. Arrow over here. Now, we're going to get to something I have used. The $200 Uber cash. But this is what I hate about American Express, man. Just give me the $200. Just put the $200 in my Uber account and let me use it how I want to. No, they're smart about their way of doing things. They give you $1,500, I mean, $15 per month and then $20 in December. And if, and if January or we're in March now, so in March, if I don't use this credit, which I have, then I lose it in April. Come on, American Express, you already hit me for $695. Don't, don't, don't take my, my, my $15 away. $300 Equinox credit. I live in a Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex and I've yet to see an Equinox gym. Not saying there's none here, but why this $300 credit don't even mean anything to me. I, I, $695 annual fee and, okay, $189 clear plus credit right here. I won't, if anything, TSA approve. I've, I've seen a couple of them little clear lines. They always be empty probably because everybody got TSA 
preach it and global entry, which I need to get. But man, you notice yesterday when I flew, the, I got to tell Shelter from your favorite couple this. The TSA line was longer than the than the general boarding line. I, I was just cranking it. I should have took a picture of it, but I was running late. And I have used this $100 shop sex uh, with plat the platinum card. So once again, they don't just give me $100 and I go to Sex Fifth Avenue. Plus, if you ever shopped at Sex Fifth Avenue, you're not getting a lot for $100. But they give you $50 the first six months, $50 in the second six months. January through June, you get $50. July through December, you get $50. I have used this and bought some socks or some stuff I ain't even need. So let's weigh this out. I always, I, I, I half the time use the Uber credit, half the time I don't. So we're just going to say $100 I use and $100 sacks. That's 200 bucks, man. Where's my other $495? Yo, come on, man. All right. So I'm telling you right now, this platinum card in the world of Rod ain't making no damn sense other than to flash it out and say, I got it. Well, I'm growner than that. I'm, 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 I'm wiser than that. That was cool when I was 20, maybe 30, maybe even 40. Yeah, maybe even when I got the card. But it ain't so cool now at $695 to flash out a card. Because I could take this $695, and buy me some stock or some crypto, flip that to 1800 2000 3000 4000 5000 dollars and go flash out that and probably get robbed. But I don't care about flashing no car. Don't nobody half the people out there don't know the difference between the platinum car and my Chase Freedom Unlimited car, which has no annual fee. Moving on, ladies and gentlemen, moving on to the next. Let me go ahead and uh, pull up the next car. It's another American Express car. Oh, man. And I may have to refresh this. All right, so share my screen here. I think I shared the wrong screen. That man ain't the one I wanted to share. Now we're looking at the American Express Business Gold Card. I, I mean, y'all can go back and look at all this. 150,000 points after spending 10 grand in the first three months. You got to have a heck of a business. I, 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 didn't, I don't even think I hit the bonus when I got this card on this one. Now, I do like this, and I'm, I'm just going to read it. You get four times the membership report war points because I'm going to go over it in detail. Uh, on the two select categories where you spend the most each month, I'll tell you right now, I use mine at gas stations and restaurants, but they have added some new stuff. So I got to see if that does a little better. And three times the points on flight. So you can already exit out. I already told you about that on the platinum card. It, itty bitty. And y'all, I just noticed this today, man. I must have missed the memo. I'm, I'm terrible at checking my mail. The annual fee on this car was $295. Now it's $375. Hell, I got more reason to get rid of it. So let's scroll down a little bit, man. All right, $395 back in statement credits annually. So I could break even on my annual fee. $395 in statement credit. $240 flexible business credit. I don't need, I don't do $240. We ain't even talk about that Walmart Plus membership no more. Uh, you get do get cell phone protection, but I didn't get I can get that with a no annual fee card, man. Three hundred and what was it? Seventy five dollars. So I get a twenty five twenty dollar. Now I'm right here where it says enhance four times membership reward points, where I spend two the most. U.S. Uh, purchase made from electronic goods retailers. I ain't got no reason to go there. I got all the equipment I need. I got LED lights. I got cameras. I got laptops. <laughs> Don't need it. Maybe one month I will. This is new. Monthly wireless telephone services. Services charged directly through U.S. carrier, AT&T, T-Mobile, Verizon, Boost, Cricket. <laughs> uh, and transit purchases. I don't take the transit. I, there is no transit where I live in Arlington. Uh, maybe in Dallas, if I live there, I would be taking it, but nah. 
Persons at U.S. media providers, I don't do any media. So my two obvious choices would be these two right here. Restaurants and gas stations. And I get one point everywhere else. See what else is for travel. No foreign transaction fees. I would expect it not to have any because it's a travel card. All right, so $375 annual fee. I think that's what it was. And I can't break even on this card, so uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Still, it's all of you, that platinum card might not even be up for debate. That platinum card might be out of there. $695, $375. So I will, I may add this up because that's something I've never done. And I think I need to face the reality of all of this. Next card on the list is. The gold card, the personal gold. That was the business gold. I'm keeping one of the two. I just got to figure out which one. I do use my business gold quite a bit, especially when I travel. Now, you will get, show y'all where I am here. I'm right here. Four times of membership reward, uh, reward points at restaurants worldwide. I use it there, but. That overlaps the business goal because I get four times the points at restaurants. Four times the points at U.S. supermarkets. Not bad. Three times the points on fight when you talk about that. One point everywhere else. And, I'm, and then I'm going to tell you what my strategy is I'm thinking here. MX Gold annual fee is $250. I have it highlighted. 250 bucks. 695, 375, 250. Man, I'm, I'm losing control over here, y'all. I'm losing control. So, one thing I want to say, my new strategy, what I'm really thinking, uh, what I'm really thinking is keep the business goal and get rid of the personal goal and start back using my American everyday preferred and i'm gonna go ahead and get put me on here uh kind of big so y'all i want y'all to follow along with me here so why did i just say that why did i say i'm thinking about keeping the business goal even though it has a 375 dollar annual fee getting rid of the personal goal even though it only has i'm not only but it's less 250 dollar annual fee and bringing my american express everyday preferred card back into the picture well what benefit am i getting from this personal goal card Four times the points at restaurants, I have that on the business goal. Four times the points at restaurant, I don't have that on the business goal. However, comma, if I use my everyday preferred card, I get three times the points at grocery stores. If I make 30 transactions, I'm going to get a 50% bonus. Half of three is 1.5, so I'll be getting 4.5 times the points at grocery stores with the everyday preferred at a $95 annual fee. I ain't going to get no Uber credits. I ain't tripping off Uber. I don't take Uber that much. And the three seventy five, three seventy five plus ninety five is four seventy. Yeah, four seventy. That is all. And then instead of three ninety five and two fifty for three six forty five or something like that. I'm just trying to do this real quick. I like my new plan better than this current plan. So the personal goal may be on the chopping blocks. The last card I'm going to talk about before I get into these comments. Let me check something. I may have to refresh this one too. Nah. Now this one here really bamboozles me here. And I'm going to go ahead and share my screen again because I want y'all to see these cards. And that is the City Advantage Executive Card. I mean, it's, it's a nice feeling card. People do look, not, not in stores, but when you go to the airport, they look at you a little different because I may be dressed up. Which lately, when I travel, I've been wearing a lot of sweatsuits, warm ups. I used to only travel in business attire, but I may travel like this a hoodie and a baseball cap. So when I pull out this card, they're like, whoa, who is this guy? Best for Admirals Club membership. Yes, but you know, I've been in the Admirals Club. No, no, no shade on Admiral, uh, American. 
Amherst Club is a club you go into, you show your car, you show your boarding pass, you go in there, they got food, they, you get free drinks from this, it's a premium drink, and that's alcoholic drinks. You can get all the non-alcoholic drinks that you want for free. But the food ain't never been great. And then what I was what I was drinking, as a matter of fact, I've kind of laid off drinking for the last almost month now. But what I was drinking, I had to pay for because it was uh, Remy Martin cognac, which was a premium cognac. So really, I'm just getting some cheese, some crackers, and some little salami slices or some pepperoni or turkey or something. It was cool because I, I don't really like getting super full before I get on the plane because I'm not a fan of the, the, the restrooms on the plane. You know, I always feel like I press that little flush button. I might get sucked in, sucked out, wherever the stuff be going. Can't even imagine it just going out the plane, but whatever. Anyway, now, this card... You'll earn seven thousand dollars. I mean, you'll earn seventy eight thousand American Airlines points after spending seven thousand dollars in the first three months. That is hefty. I had a hard time spending five grand on my platinum card. Once again, little bitty letters. When I first got this card, the annual fee was four fifty. They went to five hundred ninety five dollars, and I really don't know the reason why. And I'm sure somebody out there can tell me, but I ain't figured it out. So let me tell you what you get with this car. You get two times the miles on American Airlines flights and one mile everywhere else. It's like the damn platinum car. Now, yeah, I will book a flight with America using this car. And actually, it's four times the miles. My business card is two times a mile. Not bad. Not bad, but man, I don't know if it equal no $595, man. So travel benefits. You will get Admiral's Club. You will get Global Entry TSA pre-check application fee credit. It's about 100 bucks to uh, apply for TSA or Global Entry. They'll reimburse you as long as you use the card. First free check bag, I get that on my business, uh, American Airlines card under the points blank travel business. VIP, uh, you get to go to party check in. Now, this can be huge, especially if you're like me, a last minute person to get to the airport because you have priority that's separate from main, meaning the main people like me that's flying economy go to the main section, and the first class executive card holders and elite status people they go to priority 25% savings on in flight food and beverage. Yeah, I think I've used that maybe twice, once or twice. And we're going to go back up. Let's see what the mileage benefits are. That's what I was just talking about. Now, this could get lucrative, but I don't use half the stuff. You earn 10 times, I'm right here, 10 times, 10 advantage miles per dollar spent book on rental cars. I don't rent no car. I just catch an Uber. Who the hell? I mean, I'm sure there's people out there renting cars. But every time I go by a rental car place, I don't see no cars in the parking lot. So A, either they all rent it, or B, they ain't got much inventory because ain't nobody renting cars no more. I don't know. Y'all tell me. You earn ten dollars for every ten miles for every dollar spent on eligible hotel book through. Now, once I get gold lease status, or even prior to, I may start booking some hotels through the American Airlines because you'll get bonus loyalty points. So, but ten times the points, not bad. Four times the points for every dollar spent on eligible American Airlines purchases. Uh, I ain't reading all that. And one. Uh, mile everywhere else. So these two here, after you spend $150 in purchase in a calendar year, earn a total of five advantage miles. For I, I'm not spending $150 on an airline card. $150,000. I ain't even got $150,000 worth of flights to take. I don't even know $150,000 worth of cities where I know people. <laughs> so that ain't happening. And this other one is kind of, eh. and let's see here. $595. Man. No, dog. I, yeah. Let's see these additional benefits. Maybe I get a my name on the side. I mean, my picture on the side of a plane or something. Rental car. 
after taking three Lyft credits, I use Uber, you get $10 Lyft credit. I got to take three, I get a $10 credit. Man, get out of here. What can you do with $10 in these inflation of old times? And they talking about $10, man. They should, they should be ashamed of themselves putting this over here. I ain't even read no more of that. I'm going to unshare this story before I get pissed off up in here. All right, y'all. So without even looking on the screen and sharing the screen, I got it memorized now. I usually wouldn't think about it because it would make me sick probably. Six ninety five for the platinum, five ninety five for the American Airlines executive, three seventy five for the business gold, two fifty for the gold. Um, they just, so y'all don't think I'm over here shooting the breeze here? Let's see here, six ninety five plus five ninety five plus three seventy five plus. Woo 250 yo that's 1900 dollars in $1,915 in annual fees somebody gots to go this here gonna be like uh you are the weakest link or whatever the game show used to be I, somebody gots to go man i could tell you it's gonna break my heart to get rid of that platinum car because i worked very hard to get it but I worked hard to get a lot of other stuff in Los Angeles, so it ain't gonna break my heart that much. Six hundred ninety-five dollars. That five hundred fifty-dollar American Airlines card is gone. It's gone. It's already already. It's it's a done deal. I have no downgrade options because I already have the business card. I have no downgrade options with. The, I hate canceling credit cards because you, after, over time, you lose the average age of accounts. I hate to lose the average age of accounts on that card, but I have the green card. As you see, I had a personal goal. I had a business card. I can't, I have to downgrade it to a membership reward earning card. I can't downgrade it to a Hilton card or a Marriott card or everyday card. It's got to be a charge card. Last I checked. If somebody knows something different, let me know. Help your boy out. I can't downgrade the gold card. Same boat. Can't downgrade the business goal. Same boat. Maybe I can get a business green, but I don't need no business green. All right, man. I just wanted to go over there, y'all. I almost hate, I don't hate I did the live because I miss y'all, but I hate I did this topic. Boy, they just, yeah, I'll be dreaming tonight. I have ones and nines and ones and fives going across my head. Anyway, man, let me jump in the comments and see what y'all talking about, man. Hey, if y'all got anything y'all think about getting rid of credit card though uh, i mean if you just got to get it off your chin you think about getting rid of somebody something else so I said somebody you put it in here i ain't gonna spend much time on it though youtube experiment what's going on says so spring cleaning change up the annual fee card line of first check coming hello rod and the pbt crew you're gonna see acronyms over here pbt is points blank travel more people will do that instead of typing all that points blank travel and i don't blame them Again, do your boy a favor. If you're just coming in, hit, make sure you hit that like button. That's first and foremost. Hit that thumbs up down there. Let's see. Let's see if we can get a thousand thumbs up tonight with 16 real homies in here. Got that from Chris saying. He always said, let's see if we can get a thousand likes in the video. But he have 15,000 views, so it's very possible. Hit that subscribe button if you are not subscribed to the channel. If you're already subscribed, I thank you for your support. Let me jump back in here. What's up, Devin? Devin says, how are you doing? I am doing good. Uh, Mojo said, I wasn't sure if time permit, but if you are able to cover my Instagram DM, I said earlier today, appreciate it if, you, if you're able to cover. Uh, let me look. Let me look and see what it is. Let me go get through some of these comments, Mojo. I, if it's not too, too personal, matter of fact, let me just see what it is. Because I forget and then I forget. So Mojo sent me a DM today. Mm. Oh, there it is. There's your name. Ooh. Man, this is long. I spent I've been spending about a thousand dollars monthly total in groceries slash dining. My consumer gold card, American Express, is coming up in May for the annual fee of $250. I'm wondering your thoughts, sir. I don't fly much at all. So all those points I've been accumulating off the gold card, I've been transferring to my Hilton Honors account. Smart move because each American Express membership reward points is worth two 
Hilton Honors points. So smart move. So you still have some use for the card. For maybe an emergency hotel, stay with the family randomly one day. Maybe, a, well, why has it got to be an emergency? Why y'all just can't do a staycation, non-emergency? Enjoy yourself. Why not take a road trip? If you don't fly that much, take a road trip. Go to the next city over, the next two cities over, or maybe the next state over, and book your room with your, your, your points. But I'm wondering, do you still think that's still coming out of here with the gold card, even I'm just doing the transfer to the Hilton Honors account? I have the saver one I could use for groceries and the built mass card I could use for dining if I close out the gold card. Thoughts on closing the gold, or am I getting value with uh if you're this is my I'm, I'm gonna give you i'm gonna break this down real quick mojo class is now in session ladies and gentlemen i would highly recommend if you come to a point spring travel live that you bring one of two things and definitely two things a mechanical pencil or a pen a semi mechanical pencil in case you make a lot of mistakes you can erase it and a spiral notebook. I'm going old school, 60, 70. A spiral notebook for your young whippersnappers is just a regular notebook. Mechanical pencil is a pencil you put the lead in and press a little thing and the lead comes out. Or you can get a number two pencil. But class is now in session. Mojo, I'm going to break this down real quick. You're spending $1,000 on groceries. So at a max, you're getting 4,000 points from your gold card. You transfer it over to your Hilton card. I mean, to your Hilton Honors program. So now you have 8,000 points with Hilton. Hmm. That's not enough to get a room. So you would have to do this about four or five years to get enough points to get a room. Are you using your question I would have is, are you using your gold card for anything else? If not, I don't see the sense of keeping the gold. A $250 annual fee, that $250, you can go pay for the hotel room that you're, you're trying to accumulate points in case of an emergency. Take the annual fee. This is just me, man. I would probably seriously look at getting rid of that car. That's just, just me. But hit me up on DM, man. Let, let me. I need to get more info from you before you make a move. Wendy, what's going on? Wendy Melinda says, hi, Hansel. Where you been at, man? I've been uh, regrouping. I've been revamping and regrouping the points blank network, uh, but I'm back. YouTube experiment said, thank you for being here. Wendy. two, four, seven, three, six, five. Mufasa said, Hey Rod, I'm in here. Thank you for being here. Thank all of you for being here. 13 real homies in the crib right now. Why loves motivate says, welcome in everyone. Now, if y'all are speaking to each other, I'm not going to read those. Why loves motivate said, hello, Rod. Chevy W what's going on. He recently, uh, Subscribe to the channel, Chad's Money Minutes, who's been in the chat before. I'm hoping I can get Chad on, on a collaboration on here one day. But he did a creator spot, a content creator spotlight a couple of days ago. And I was featured thanks to Chad. And I was honored, blessed, humbled, speechless, all of the above. And uh, a couple of his subscribers actually subscribed to my channel because of that content creator spotlight and he said some very amazing words and thank you and god bless you bro and we got bill in here again i will be interviewing bill on my other channel the points blank experiment i mean the points blank experiment thing by youtube the points blank experience uh he is a cruiser he does a lot of traveling so definitely I, i'm not going to do it here because i typically do most of my interviews over there John, what's going on, man? John, are you subscribed to the channel? Say good evening, Rod. Now, I know John that had his last name on here. Maybe this is the same John. If it is, man, I apologize in advance. But if it's not and you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Yeah, this is a Kansas City Royals cap. Uh, notice I didn't get the one that got KC on it. I'm not a Royals fan. You live in KC? Cool, man. I got it because I went to a spring training game in Phoenix between the Texas Rangers and the uh, Arizona Diamondbacks, a repeat of the World Series of last year. Pretty good game, actually. And as I was leaving, I stopped in a little sports shop or whatever, and I saw this hat and the R, yes, it's for the Royals, but it's also for Rod, and it had got the crown on top, and I said, man, that's a cool hat. So your boy purchased it. 
What's going on, Jonathan? Hi there from Flushing, New York, man. How you doing? How you doing? Thank you so much for being here. It is John. John speaking saying nice. About two weeks ago, I got approved for a Shell Fuel Rewards MasterCard. Congratulations, Devin. Congratulations, man. Let me know how that worked out for you. He bought it because of the R. <laughs> See, she already know. <coughs> I actually went to the game with Wilo as the motivator. So. Wilo the motor doesn't matter. Free advertisement for the Royals. Applying and oh, oh by the way, uh, Devin and Why Loves Motivate, they are uh, channel members. Thank y'all for supporting the channel. Applying for so many cars can hurt your credit score? Question mark. Uh, when you apply for cars, I've always said in live streams and videos, try to space it out every three months, six months. You're going to initially take a two to five point hit on your credit because it's a new inquiry. But once you get approved for the car, activate the car and especially if you got a large credit limit i would say depending on what your credit utilization is and credit utilization is debt divided by total credit limits total debt divided by total credit limits so if you got three hundred dollars worth of debt a thousand dollar credit limit on all your cards say you only have one or two cards your credit utilization is 30 percent so um if you get two to five, three to five thousand dollar credit limit, once they open an account and put it on your credit, those two to five points that you lost, if you have a low credit utilization, 30 percent or less, I always say 10 percent or less, your credit score is going to go back up. So hopefully that answered your question. And if not, let me know and I'll, I'll go over it again because I did kind of go quickly. Caesar Joel, man, make sure y'all check out Caesar. He does credit card points and miles has a wonderful channel. Uh, he speaks primarily to the Hispanic speakers. However, if you go over there, which I've gone over there, why love some motivators going over there, he will revert to English. He he's bilingual. So love his channel, man. Let's roll, baby. Happy to see you live, Rod. Thank you for being here. Oh, darn, I thought you had the decision made already. No, nah, well, I do own that uh, American Airlines executive card, but no, nah, man, that platinum, I got to do a little more thing. What would you do, uh, YouTube experiment? Caesar, what would you do? What would any of y'all do? Would you keep that 695 card or would you get rid of it? I have two cards with no annual fees. They're both MX. Uh, that preferred card, I don't know which ones you have, but I know that preferred card does have an annual fee of 95 bucks. YouTube is speaking to Jonathan. Hey, the story is coming, says I'm back. Rod, what's going on, my brother? What is going on? What is going on, man? And why those motivators welcome in Caesar. Thank you for being here. Uh, the story is coming. He's been rocking with me for a while. Average age of accounts. I just learned the importance of this. Yes, average age of accounts is very important. So if you have a no annual fee card, or $39, $49 annual fee card that you can stomach paying the fee. It's no reason, definitely no annual fee cards. Just let that thing continue to age and age and age. You'll be surprised how it will help your credit score in the long run. Devin, yes, the personal MS Platinum was 550 for the annual fee and business platinum was 595 before, but were both increased to 695. Yes, sir. All right, so this is the John I'm thinking of. Oh man, I think that's I love you, love much. I love to my brother, love to you, brother, love to you, brother. Okay, and I, I, I think I know a little bit of Spanish. Now, one thing I forgot to mention: why does motivate says that's a lot? What makes me think it is worth? Is it worth having the cards now? One, two things I forgot to mention with the Platinum card. I didn't think they had it in the slide. I do, with the Platinum card, get access to the American Express Centurion lounges worldwide. I also get uh, access to the Delta Sky Club if I'm flying Delta. I love the Delta Sky Club way better than American 
Airlines, Admiral's Club, way better. Food is better. I think you still have to pay for premium drinks. Uh, the only problem when I fly, I don't rarely fly Delta Fire America. And since American Express is partnered with Delta, you rarely will you find American and Delta in the same terminal in an airport. Let's just say, for example, I want to say terminals A and B in Dallas, Fort Worth, or for American terminal D is for Delta. And guess where the Centurion Lounge is? Over there where the Delta terminal is because they're partnered. I've done it once. I did it in San Francisco. I checked in my bag. I went from terminal one to terminal three or something like that and went to the Centurion Lounge, had some food, had a cocktail, and then went back to terminal one. It wasn't that long of a walk, maybe less than a quarter of a mile, tenth of a mile, and then went through security, and it was cool. Will I do it again? Probably not. Devin says he don't travel much, so he's had plenty of offers with the platinum car, but he doesn't have a car. But do you take advantage of Centurion Lounge and other offers of the car? I just explained that. I, I've been to Centurion Lounge twice and flown I don't know how many times. And, and it's never in a terminal that I'm flying out of, which I primarily fly American. Even when I flew to Atlanta going to Miami last year for the meeting I cruise, the American uh, Centurion Lounge was in one part of the airport, the one terminal, and I was flying out of another terminal, and I was, you know, I was flying American there too. They, I know I flew once Delta and went to Atlanta and still missed it. So I recently got a one thousand dollar credit limit increase on my Overstock Mastercard. Congratulations, man! Congratulations, congratulations, David! You keep them credit limit increases, huh? Amex is ending a Sirius XM credit soon, which I don't have Siri, uh, Sirius, but for those of you that that is probably bad news. Uh, and we got part of the alliance, also channel members in the house. Greetings at points point travel and chat. Don't use it. You lose it. Your favorite couple is in the house, sheltered and keep. And I want to take the time out because I may do a video tomorrow. I definitely won't be going live, but I definitely want to wish Key a happy birthday. Happy early birthday. I'm not going to say when it is. That's her business unless she or Shelton want to say it. 14 real homies in the crib. Appreciate y'all for being here. Hmm. So if the perks don't fit your lifestyle, maybe say goodbye to the card. Only thing that's bothering me with the platinum is average age of accounts and the fact that I worked so hard to get the car, but like I said, I can get over there working so hard. Six ninety five, that's pretty steep. If you have the clear credit, may as well take advantage of it. Yeah, but I want that TSA pre-check. Is clear better than TSA pre-check? I ain't even see a clear line when I went to flew out of Phoenix yesterday. Paul Grace, what's going on? Said, so let's roll, baby. You all know it how we do it. We always rolling, baby. When you got the car, the sign-up bonus. Uh, more than made up for the annual fee at that at the time, but yeah, it did. But you can always downgrade the car, but don't close it. You can, but in the instance of the platinum car, I have all the other cards, so it's nothing to got downgraded to it. I don't want two green cards or anything like that. It has to be a charge card. It has to be a, a membership reward earnings card. Now, if it's another card say the everyday preferred and i'm tired of paying the 95 dollars i can downgrade to the everyday car which has no annual fee perfect scenario uh david said i would downgrade a platinum car if i had it how are you what would you downgrade it to david if you have all the other ones i'm curious hey what's going on marjorie says hi and good evening to points point travel thank you so much for being here marjorie thank you for being here Everybody's speaking to everybody. Um, get past these hellos. Thanks. Paul says, love the energy, man. And I'm not even on 10 right now. I'm probably on like six. Energy level six. I was saying I was on my uh, finance channel the other day. Make sure y'all check that out. Investing with Rye. I'm showing people how to invest in the stock market and or crypto on a budget. $5, $10. 
$20, $15, $12 using Robinhood for stocks and crypto and Coinbase for crypto. Uh, make sure y'all check it out. Again, investing with Rod. Showing you how to invest on a budget. And when I finished, I said, man, I got to get more energy. This channel doesn't have that PBT energy. So I appreciate that, man. Fire. Good info, Rod. Thank you. Hey, appreciate it, man. Appreciate it. You always supportive, man. Appreciate you for being here. Uh, city keeps offering upgrades. I'm good with the no annual fee card. Now, the, the City Platinum World um, Platinum Select World Elite MasterCard, $99 annual fee is not bad. Uh, I'm, I'm, I know which one you have, but it's not a bad card. Uh, for 99 bucks, I, I would look into it. I wouldn't just say no immediately. Okay. If there is no, uh, if there is a no on downgrade path for that, a hey, hey, do that. Otherwise, counsel. Yeah, I, I could. I had it before, and uh, the personal uh, advantage. The easiest way to hit bonus are manufacturer spending, like buying gift cards and stuff like that. I've never done that. I've always just daily purchases insurance cell phone bills groceries gas restaurants eating out yes 95 dollars for the mx preferred card skipping the conversation i'm just making sure uh uh I should downgrade. You can't downgrade the Advantage Red. I can't downgrade the, the, the executive, which is City, to the Barclays Advantage Red. Devin, that, that's impossible. Uh, Devin says, I mainly wanted to shell MasterCard because I get, can get, a, get shell rebates on things in the station, not just gas. My older shell MasterCard. I had to spend them five hundred dollars a month to get the main benefits of the card. Okay, cool. Well, hey, you have a a, a a reason to your rhyme, baby. You have a reason for getting that card. So, which is why I close it. Okay, Mufasa says it's always good to see you, Mufasa. Thank you for being here. I'm thinking about canceling my MX Green and replace it with the MX Blue Business Plus. Will MX let me uh, combine the credit limits on those? So you're going to have to talk to them and depend on your payment, depend on a couple of different factors, payment history. They may, they may not. I'm, I can't really speak on that one. You're definitely going to have to contact them and see, will they let you or not? And we got cooking with the catchers in here. Also part of the line it says, good evening, Rod, Mods, and Chad. Thank y'all for being here. Hey, cook up the cabinet said, like the hat. That's two. I like the hats. I Man, I know I was doing something right when I got this hat. I would downgrade to the green, but if I dine out a bit, I downgrade to the gold. I already had a gold. I had a green. I don't need two of them, Devin. I have the green, the gold, the business gold, and the platinum. So I really have no options but to cancel, which I hate to do. So Oh, hey, we got Sid Cruiser here, another content creator. Make sure y'all check her out. She does uh, solo cruising. And I could tell you, man, she has some phenomenal content, some phenomenal vlogs. Definitely go check her out on YouTube, Sig the Solo Cruiser. Sig the Solo Cruiser. Let me make sure I forgot to put one thing up here. I always forget my banner, man. I don't know how. I don't know how. Well, I tell you what, man. Let me check here. Yeah, we at the end of the comments, baby. Recap. Trying to see, man. Is it time for me to cancel some credit cards? You know, it felt good saying I had 30, 25 cards, 21 cards. Maxed out at 32 cards. It felt good saying that, but who was I trying to impress? Hmm. It felt good, personally, going from no credit. It felt good going from being turned down to finally being approved and working my way up to 32 credit cards. It felt good. I won't lie, personally. Unless you follow me on YouTube, if I went into a store, you didn't know how many credit cards I had. But I tell you where and what it does not feel good to, as you can see here, is my pockets or my bank account. 
I only talked about four cards. Now, out of the 32, some of them have annual fees. A lot of them don't. And the annual fees totaled up to $1,915. The last time I checked, impressing someone else, the best way to do that is be yourself. And being myself is paying for something when I'm getting something in return. Meaning if I'm spending $695 annual fee, I want to be able to get $695 worth of value. If I'm paying $550 annual fee, I want to get at least, at least $450 or $500 worth of value. Maybe $50 I'll miss out on. I can't justify it. So the jury is still out on the uh, gold card, the personal gold. The jury's still out on the business gold. The jury's still out on the platinum, but they close to making a verdict. And the verdict has been made on American Airlines executive card. That card will be canceled. And I have two business green and business gold cards. I got two of each because I'm if getting more pay over time limits and because I have all over the U.S. get more flexible business credits. Yeah, but I don't need two, man. I, I see what you're saying here. You know, you, you, you're you getting pay over the time credit limits. But if they're both business, is this going towards your business credit, Devin? Because business credit cards don't help your personal credit. They don't even go on your personal credit. They check your personal credit to get approved for the cards, but once you get them, they don't go on your personal credit. So uh, you, if you're getting credit for your business credit, then maybe that makes sense. But for me, two business green and two business gold, that's just adding fuel to the fire. That's adding to my problem. I, I'm going to have even more annual fees. And, and that's what I'm trying to get away from. And uh, I don't care about higher credit limits. I got enough higher credit limits. Uh, flexible business credits. To be honest, man, after a while, the the nuance wears off. Yeah, you got all these credit cards. Yeah, you you hitting every bonus category known to mankind. But they start overlapping each other. Then you're in the store. You're trying to figure out which card you want to use now. I try to figure out which card I want to use depending on what I have planned. Back then, I just, oh, man, do I want to use the gold and get four times the points? Or do I want to use the business gold and get four times the points? Oh, and they go into the same place. Do I want to get American Airlines credit? Do I want to get Chase Ultimate Reward points? What do I want to do? What do I want to do? Next time I know I got a damn headache before I leave the store. And I ain't buying my three items. <laughs> Now, if I, I know I have a flight plan or want to continue building up my American Airlines miles, I'm going to use my American Airlines card. Not at one mile. I'm going to use it somewhere where I at least get two. If I'm trying to build up Chase Ultimate Reward points because I've used the Ultimate Rewards travel portal, I get 25% discount because of the Chase Sapphire Preferred card. I'm going to put more spin Uh I'm going to put more spin on my chase cards. If I know I want to stay at a Hilton, maybe a Marriott or a Hyatt, I'm going to work on those Amex points because I want to book that hotel and not have to pay for it. I used the American Express travel portal a couple of days ago for the very first time. Not can say I'm a fan of it. I feel like I got... I don't want to use the word robbed, but I felt like I spent too many points for what I could have got somewhere else had I had enough miles. Because I did a lot of traveling in 23. Uh, okay, you have family all over the U.S. Okay. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is the last call. We have that one hour mark. It is the last call. Last call for comments. Y'all have comments and or questions. I'd be more than happy to answer them, but I'm not going to sit on here and jibber jabber just to be talking. Uh, it is always a blessing to be here amongst you wonderful people. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. 
as you can see from the uh, banner, if you receive some good information or simply had a good time, you can support the channel via Super Chat or Cash App. And let me put, that's been running for a while. So, and that's on you. Uh, also, do you only have $5, $10, or $20 but want to invest in stocks or crypto? You're in the right place because I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. Subscribe to the channel, which is Investing with Rod. I rebranded Points Blank. I rebranded Points Blank Finance to Investing with Rod. I had two minute points blank this and points blank that. And keep in mind, man, if you subscribe to any of the channels, it's free to subscribe. It's free. And I can guarantee you over there, I've been giving out knowledge that you would have to spend money if you went to a seminar. I'm going to be doing quite a few videos over there, quite a few videos both places. So here, all three places here, Investing with Rod and the points blank experience, but more so here in Investing with Rod. I have, <clears throat> excuse me, about uh, I'm trying to think, man, at least, I have at least 20, 25 videos that I need to record on both channels. So, well, with all that being said, let me look at the comment, man. Did we get some more comments here? Let me get some. Let me see what we got here. Yeah, have a good night. Have a great night. Is that what I'm reading? And have a good night. All right, y'all. Well, as I end each and every video, shoot for the moon. If you don't make it, you'll be amongst the stars. I can guarantee you. I will be coming at you soon, dropping more heat, dropping more fire, more importantly, dropping more knowledge. Again, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. Definitely, if you didn't hit it on the way in, hit that thumbs up, that like button on the way out. It helped this video get pushed out to people that may be looking for information like this. Share this channel with your family, your friends, your co-workers. Will Amex raise your business credit like they will on your personal? Uh, your Amex business typically have uh, no preset limit depending on your spend. So it's going to depend on your spend. Your credit limits is going to depend on your spend. No, you're not too late. I just answered it. I just answered it, man. What's going on world this, with Frugal Mama, my DFW sister? Thank you so much for tuning in. No, man. I, 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 I never leave that quick. I, I'm, I'm always here. Even though I said what I'm about to say. Uh, I can still, I had, can see the comments still coming in. So I'm not going to just bounce. That's why I said last call. Now we're at the final call. And the Points and Miles Club is now closed. If you know someone that can use information, this information, please tell them they haven't watched the replay. If you have any questions, you can always hit me at pointsblanktravel at gmail.com. Also, follow me on Instagram, pointsblanktravel, TikTok, pointsblanktravel. And I have a private group where I let anybody in on Facebook as long as you're not some scam or spam on Facebook under points blank travel. And so make sure you check out that what you see down there is investing with Rod. Make sure y'all check out that channel. And I think I had two more comments that slid in here. One more. <coughs> you can request a credit increase on your business, but not on their business charge cards, on their business credit cards. You can. Great, great info, Devin. So, hey, answer your question, Mufasa. You can. On their business, per, on your personal cards, you could invest and request a credit limit increase or a CLI, but on their business cards, you cannot. Great information. Thank you, Devin. Let me put that. Uh... Okay, Mufasa caught that. All right, y'all. Well, it's been fun. It's been cool. Make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when I'm going live again. Next, next week could be a pop-up live. I never know. 
stay tuned for some some videos this week on this channel look forward to seeing y'all soon and with all that being said much love peace i'll let y'all later hope you have a prosperous week and a very very blessed week see y'all soon much love